I am the sun belt warrior On a mission I vow to walk the path until truth be known And ignorance dismissed from the mind and hearts of my people I am the sun belt warrior Let truth unravel concerning the melanated scattered nation of Israel And the geological facts pertain to the region known as the Middle East Right for it to be classified as North East Africa You hear correct the so-called Middle East is North East Africa. Wasn't there a rift in Ethiopia among the early studies of tectonic plate theory, the drifting of Arabia away from the Horn of Africa? Is it not just a man-made canal called the Swiss that separates Egypt from the Sinai Peninsula, bordering the Holy Land, otherwise known today as Israel and Palestine? You see, the mind, heart and soul is what they seek to control through geopolitical terms and false teachings of doctrines of old. Don't get it twisted. The Europeans never taught us about the books of Moses. Mungo Park, a Scottish explorer, stated that when he came to West Africa, he saw the first five books of the Hebrew scriptures written in Arabic. Bear in mind, due to migrational patterns, many Hebrew communities took on language and cultures of other people. But that's another story. These ancient traditions were passed down from generation to generation and are still taught today in Africa by tribes such as Lemba in Zimbabwe and Southern Africa in West and in East Africa. Despite Mussolini's attempt, Ethiopia has never been colonized by Europeans. Within this symbolic land, in Gondor and surrounding countrysides, the Ethiopian Hebrew Israelites, who refer to themselves as Beta Israel, practice for thousands of years these ancient traditions until today. Their Ariel to Israel sees these ancient traditions diluted slowly away and replaced with Ashkenazi interpretations. Marcus Mosiah Garvey said, in the whirlwind, you will see me again. To truth there is no end. Placing a puzzle together, are we that blind? Ethiopia stood as Garvey mentioned, a symbol for all Africa. Was it not Yahawah's intention to preserve Ethiopia? To declare in the capital city, Addis Ababa, through the lineage of Solomon Sheba, a sun belt representation of the tribe of Judah, declaring to the world that the ancient people of the biblical scriptures were black. Using scriptorial references, I can go deeper than that. But before I do so, history teaches the first pharaohs were Ethiopian, as Ethiopia has always been a country of dark-skinned people. Then it's realistic to say the first pharaohs were black. Now we've established that. The Quran teaches Surah 15, Ayah 26, Allah fashioned manner of black mud. The Ashkenazi Jews teach Adam was a red man, as they tried to connect the word Adam and Adom which means red in Hebrew. However, let's look at the biochemistry makeup of man, our connection to the elements within and around us. The scripture says, Adam was formed from the soil of the earth and soil color is primarily influenced by soil mineralogy. The point I'm making is, rich soil is predominantly dark in color. According to science, 70% of human makeup is water. What happens when you mix water with soil? It darkens in appearance, not to mention the sun's contribution to life and energy and its activation of melanin. The purpose of me stating these logical facts isn't to promote racial superiority, but to awaken all mankind. You see, I need you to get to know me. The biblical teacher of a white Jesus and a pale Muhammad, visual images of Europeans serve no good purpose, neither that psychologically allow you or others to look at me with respect. Even worse, in the back of my people's minds, buried is the thought of an illusion which affects their spirituality in reality, influenced by a trigger of self-hate, programmed to eliminate. Unfortunately, many take the bait. The Holy Scriptures is a powerful tool and can be used for good or evil. However, in this poem I refer from within it to clarify the physical complexion of the original biblical house of Israel spiritually touching the heart and mind of my people for what comes from the heart is capable of touching the heart we've already established Adam was black Moses and Joseph were both regarded as Egyptians the book of lamentation Job I can go on and on but there's no need for can a seed be sown in concrete surely truth cannot fall on deaf ears without fear I speak for humble is the meat and in time my seeds will grow.